Hello guys, a very good morning. This is Dr. Anjit again. So welcome back to the day 8 challenge and as usual you are going steady and good and it is an amazing response today. I didn't expect you to name the space whatever you showed in the last image so that was uh, heartwarming and uh, well, let's go with the answers of the day 7 challenge. All it itches right? A dermatopathological slide. The first thing is the diagnosis is lichen planus. It's a max Joseph space. It was the artificial cleft between the epidermis and the papillary dermis. Perfect. The apoptotic body, what I showed in the previous image was civet bodies. It's a finding seen in lichen planus or any apoptotic keratinocyte is called as a civet body. Fine. And the third one, I had a ball in a claw pattern of inflammation that's seen in a condition called as a lichen nitridus, right? And I'm sure that you know the five piece of lichen planus that's diagnostic for lichen planus as well. Fine. So let's go to today's challenge. Today I'm going to take a different uh, organ totally. We're going to go to brain. Right, CNS is very challenging. Uh, the amount of neoplasms, the variation we get in CNS is very, very challenging. I'm not giving you many histories here. I'm not giving you an imaging finding as well because imaging is very classical in CNS to, for a few of the tumors. Right? A 20 year old person came with a lateral ventricle mass and a stereotactic biopsy was done and the biopsy showed this. Fine. Right? thought here, when I see the microscopy, I'm having, it's like this, it's like this. The cells are, it's called as sweeping fascicles of cells. When I have to look at an individual cell, right, this is an individual cell. One thing I can be very, very confident is it's having an abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm for sure. Almost every cell where I see, they are huge. I'm going to give you a clue for the diagnosis here. They are huge. So they are giant. They are big, big cells. Not a classical giant cells, what we see in inflammation, not the multiple nucleus. A single cell, but a very huge cell with an abundant pink cytoplasm. This is there and it's seen in a lateral ventricle in a 20 year old person. We went ahead with the immunohistochemistry. I'm going to show you two immunohistochemistry, very classical for diagnosis. One is this, this is a GFAP slide and you're going to decide whether it's positive or not based on that your diagnosis. The second one, I'm going to have one more IHC here, this S100. This also you're going to say it's positive or not. I, as usual, I'm going to give you a clue that a brown color is going to be definitely positive. Blue color or not brown color in IHC is negative, fine. So coming to today's questions, the question is comment on the IHC. Both GFAP and S100, tell me whether you're positive or not. Based on that and based on the lesion location and also I gave you a clue, it's a very big cell. I want you to come to a diagnosis. If you're not sure about the diagnosis, I'm sure the second, the third question will help you to come to a diagnosis. There is a syndrome which is uniquely seen in this case, right? Tell me that syndrome and if possible, tell me the genes involving the syndrome. And this, if you know the diagnosis, you have to comment on the grade of the tumor because the this tumor Prognosis is based on WHO grading system, right? And I want you to comment on the grade of the tumor as well, fine? I'm looking forward for your comments. And if you're a postgraduate, I'll be uploading a detailed description of this video and how to approach them soon. Keep me following me in the Anacademy channel and let's crack it. See you soon with another case. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.